Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing another clothing haul for you guys. And I feel like recently I've been doing quite a lot kind of, of kind of cheap clothing hauls and the quality's not been very good and there haven't been many items that I'd be able to recommend that you guys actually buy because they've been so rubbish. So you, loads of you guys suggested that I actually do a next clothing haul. So here's hoping that the quality is a lot better. It can't really get much worse. So yeah, let's just dive straight in. First up, I got this really sweet tea dress. So it's that kind of shirty-esque material. It's, I don't really know what you would call this color. It's kind of a coppery, it's a light brown burnt coppery kind of color and it has this really sweet print on. It looks like polka dots from a distance, but it's actually a kind of square diamond print. I love this dress. I thought it was so flattering. I got it in a size 16 and I actually thought this ran a little large, but because of the style of the dress, it doesn't matter too much. It probably just depends more how you want to wear it. So it has buttons down the front. There's an overlap that goes under the button so you're not gonna get any gapage, which is amazing. And these little stringy details to ruche it in. So that's why I don't think it matters. It runs a little bit big. And it has these little floaty, trumpety sleeves. I just think those are so pretty and flowy for summer as well. The length on this was really, really good. So girls wanting to kind of stock up on their summer office attire, this is definitely a good one. Nice and thin fabric. You're not gonna get too hot in it. It's not too short. You're not gonna have to worry about flashing people. The quality on it is really, really good as I would expect from Next, to be honest. So yeah, I got it in a 16. It, it says it's also available in tall, so that is good to know. And this was 28 pounds. So I think that's really good value for money, to be honest. This kind of dress is gonna last you such a long time. It's very in, but at the same time understated. So I don't think it's something that's gonna get out of fashion really quickly. Next up, I have another summery dress. Let's just get all the dresses out of the way. I feel like that's what we're gonna do. So another summery-esque dress. I thought this looked really adorable online. When it turned up, the fabric isn't quite what I thought it was gonna be. It's a very stretchy, elasticated fabric. When it stretches, the print on it kind of expands, which isn't great. It's a tiny bit see-through. I mean, I love the style. I love this kind of off the shoulder. You can put it wherever you want, but I wear it off the shoulder. That kind of style. It came up a little smaller than I thought it would. I got it in a size 16 and I feel like compared to the first one, it was far more snug. It was also kind of a little bit see-through as well. I do love that print. It's a polka dot print, but it's more of a speckle rather than a polka dot. Really nice tortoiseshell buttons. The button detailing is actually faux, so you can't get any gapage, which is good. And in theory, I liked this dress. I like the style, I like the print, but I feel like the material really actually lets this down. I, I felt really self-conscious in it. I felt like it was clinging to the wrong kind of bits. It was see-through, you could definitely see my underwear. Again, this was available in tall and it was 18 pounds. I mean, don't get me wrong guys, it's definitely not the worst dress I've tried on in the last month, but I did expect a bit more from Next. 18 pounds is cheap with Next standards, I think anyway, but I definitely wouldn't pay 18 pounds for this. It did, it did just really feel cheap. Right, another really cute little tea dress. I thought the print on this was amazing. Look at that, it's a sort of teal print with a yellow, not yellow, orange leopard print. So really in trend, really vibrant, very summery. But at the same time, you can wear this kind of dress with tights and boots in the winter and it's definitely not gonna look silly. Again, really nice flowy sleeves. The material on this is very similar to the first dress. It's that kind of shirt material, but it has a little bit in it. So far more flattering than 
an elasticated-y type material. It is elasticated around the waist, which is nice. I did try and show you guys that when I put it on. And yeah, overall I can't really fault it. It wasn't as roomy as the first dress. I got this in a 16 as well. And it definitely wasn't as spacious as the first dress, but I don't know if that's just to do with the cut. All in all, I just thought it was a really, really nice, versatile dress, really comfortable. You could wear this to work, again, depending on your dress code in the office. I'm used to working in design agencies and there isn't much of a dress code, to be honest. Overall, quality is really nice. And again, it's what I would expect from next. No shocks there. And this one doesn't come in a, in a tall version. That is one thing. I think I would have preferred it a slightly longer, which would be nice. It was £28. I guess that's what I'd kind of expect. I could definitely pay that for this dress. Right, right, right. This is the last of the dresses, guys, so bear with me. I was of two minds whether to order this or not. I wasn't too sure, but I tried it on and I actually really liked it. So this is a beach dress. Again, that print, very in right now, that kind of speckled Dalmatian print. I love it. It's, the material on this is that kind of ruched beach dress effect. So it's kind of crinkled, a little bit stretchy. So the quality of the material, it's not really, really nice and crisp like the other dresses, but it's not meant to be because obviously it is a beach dress. I love this style of dress. Stretchy, you can wear it off the shoulder, you can move it around wherever you like. The whole top section of the dress from your boob to your waist is that kind of sewn in, gathered style fabric. And to be honest, that's what actually put me off buying the dress. I don't th really like that style. I think that kind of ruched material can look a little bit cheap, but it works because you have this layered effect to go over it. And then when the layered effect stops, you have this tiny bit of ruching which cinches you in on your waist and the rest is lovely and floaty. Lengthwise, this hit me sort of like mid calf. So it's very much a midi length which I think is really nice because you can still wear it with, I had it with heeled shoe boots. You could also wear it with sandals. It's a very versatile kind of length. You can wear it with loads of stuff basically. And it also had slits up the legs as well, which I've said before, I do love having a bit of a slit up the leg with a maxi or longer kind of style dress because sometimes it's just a little bit too covered up. You want a little bit of leg out. So I think it's nice to have that slit and it also means it moves and flows a bit nicer as well. So I got this in a size 14, it fit perfectly. It's available in petite and tall, so that's good to know. And it was 25 pounds. So 25 pounds I'd say is quite a lot for a beach dress. But to be honest, I would wear this anywhere. I would wear it out to dinner and 25 quid for an all round summer dress that you can wear by the pool, wear out exploring during the day, wear out to dinner. It's great, it's worth the 25 quid. Now the dress part of the haul is over, let's move on to this. So this is a linen summery skirt. This is actually from Lipsy. So it's not technically one of Next's own kind of um, items, but it's a Lipsy one and I got it in a 16. It came up very small. These, oh, I should have sized up really because my hips and my ass are the biggest part of my body. Wearing buttons on that kind of area, they do tend to gape and just look ridiculous. And this is the kind of skirt that you do not want to wear it tight. So I should have sized up in this. First off, I think this color is amazing. I love this. It's a blushy stone color. It's really, really sweet, really nice and summery. And you have these tortoise shell-esque buttons and obviously a tied waist. One thing I'd say is that this was actually a little bit see-through. I'm not sure if the camera would have picked it up or not, but you could see my underwear. Granted, they were dark. I'll never learn. 
but you would need to wear this with nude underwear because they are going to show through. It's an A-line style cut, which isn't the most flattering cut for me because of my ass, but oh well, I wanted to try it on anyway. And do you know what? I really did love this. I thought it was so, so pretty. It fit my waist perfectly, but just not the butt and the hips. Lengthwise, I definitely would have liked it longer, but call me a granny, I don't know. I just think for work, you, this is definitely the style of skirt that you could wear to the office, but for me, the length isn't there. I would definitely want it more kind of just above my knee. And this was, yeah, it was definitely shorter than that. So like I said, I got it in a 16 and it was 22 pounds. I wouldn't say it looks like the most amazing expensive skirt, but I guess the quality is quite good. So 22 pounds isn't that bad. And of course, because you need tops to wear with skirts and trousers, I thought it'd be a good idea to just get a version of a basic white tee. So I got this one. So it's just a button down tee, has these little tortoise shell buttons and has some frilled ruched detailing to the sleeves. And yeah, I mean, I like the idea of this. I thought it was really unflattering. The cut of it's really square. I feel like the frills come up really high up there and they were just stuck out rather than being nice and floaty. It was just a bit blah, a bit bland. The material, if you can see, has that kind of line detail. But the material itself is not nice and floaty. It's not, I just wouldn't say it's the most particularly flattering t-shirt. It was really good in the length, I'll give them that. A lot of t-shirts cut quite short, or can be anyway. And I thought the length was really good and it wasn't too low cut, which is also good. But yeah, it was just okay. So I got this in a size 14. I'd say it's true to size and it was 12 pounds. For a pretty basic tee that's not very flattering, I don't really think that's worth the money. Looking back, I'd actually think I'd just rather wear a basic, basic t-shirt rather than this. I thought it was a bit too fussy and meh. Right, right, right. I have some jeans to show you. And, oh, I can't tell if I'm just being weird. I think I like the print, I'm not sure. So they are a stone coloured snake print. Animal print is still very in right now. It seems to be everywhere. And I love this kind of light stony beige colour. It's very spring, summery. So these are soft touch jeans. It says they've got light for technology, blah, blah, blah. What I thought was really cool actually is that it's used sustainably sourced cotton. So that was interesting. Soft touch crop mid rise. So I was a little bit worried because I'm more of a high rise kind of girl to accommodate the booty, but I thought these were actually quite nice fitting. I got these in a size 16, bearing in mind they are a cropped style, but I thought they came up to a really nice height. They weren't really high waisted, but a really good height to wear with maybe a belt and a shirt tucked in or tie up your top like I kind of did. They actually fit me. I mean, there is a little bit of give in them, which is really nice. The fabric's quite nice and thick for a stretchy type of jean. Because these are more of a straight leg cut, I thought that they maybe looked a bit odd on me because they were tight on my thighs and then not on my calves. But I, I don't really care. I thought they were actually really comfortable. And I believe they do these in a range of different colours as well. Yeah, other colours available online. So even if you're not a fan of the snake print, you can go and get different colours online. So it's definitely worth checking out. They just feel really good quality and they are really soft to the touch. So they're not, they're not like a really denim -y jean there. I don't know how you would explain these. But yeah, I was just pleasantly surprised. I thought these were really, really nice. I do love this stone colour. I'm trying to get myself out of black 
and into more light colours. So I wanted to try on a pair of jeans like this that would lift my outfit a little bit more. I'm now thinking I'd rather have these in maybe a plain stone colour. But these are £26. I think these are probably the best value out of everything in this haul, to be honest. For a really nice pair of what feel like, obviously I haven't tried and tested these properly, but they feel like they would be very, very good wearing. And they're very in, the fact that they're cropped is really nice and summery. I'm in love, I'm in love with these. I think I'm going to go check out the other colours. Actually, let me see what they've got online now. Oh my gosh, yes, I am getting those. Wow, there's so many. Oh my gosh, there are so many choices of colours. You cannot be serious. I'm going to list these colours off really quickly, just so you guys know how many. Berry, blue tie-dye print, bright pink, chocolate, cobalt, accrue, which I think is the ones that I, yeah, accrue is the stone coloured ones I like. Fluorescent green, fluorescent orange, fluorescent pink, grey snake print, the ones I was just wearing, lilac, mint snake print, navy, navy print, orange, pale blue, pale pink, pale yellow, red, sand, stone tie dye print, tan snake print, taupe, teal, terracotta, yellow. Oh my gosh, I have never known there to be such a wide colour range on one pair of jeans. This is crazy, I might have to get a couple of options. Okay guys, last up. First off, I'm just gonna say, ignore the outfit I'm wearing this with when I tried it on. This is a beach cover up and I didn't wanna stand there in my underwear or a swimsuit, I was not feeling it, so I just whacked on a black t-shirt and leggings. So don't judge the outfit underneath, just look at this. So this is another Lipsy piece, and I believe it's from, yes, the Abby Clancy range with Lipsy. And I've just seen on Instagram that loads of people are wearing these kimono-esque type lacy cover-ups by the pool, and I think they look beautiful, and I wanted to get involved, so I bought one. And this is beautiful. Look at that print. It's like a mandala-esque print I thought this was stunning it's not your usual lace type cover-up the edging on it really beautiful love that it's oh, it's just so cute so so cute and actually do you know what you can just wear this I mean perfect outfit right I am wearing a kimono-esque cover-up right now this one's actually from New Look but you can wear these with any outfit really. If you just want to wear, oh, maybe with my my accru uh, jeans that I'm gonna get and a white top and just put that on top. If you just want to kind of cover your shoulders, protect them from the sun, or maybe you're a bit self-conscious, this is gonna just give you another layer. And also you're gonna look sassy as in this. The length was really good. The quality is really nice. It does also have these little stringy bits so you can tie it up in the middle which I thought was a little bit unnecessary I don't know why you would tie it up and it's not fitted enough for it to look good tied up I would just wear it loose so I got this in a medium large I thought it was really really roomy actually and I'm not gonna lie to you guys the price tag on this is quite hefty it's 35 pounds so quite a lot of money for a beach cover-up but it's so pretty right that is everything from me today guys just to sum up yes the quality in next is far better than cheapy online brands that's a no-brainer it's pretty obvious I think for me it's the perfect place to go if you want more timeless kind of pieces or bits that you can wear to work things like that that you want to get a lot of wear out of obviously next is not going to be the very forefront of fashion if you want really on trend out there pieces next is not the place to go 
but when it comes to jeans or really nice tea dresses I would totally recommend Next, it is awesome for that kind of stuff, that is literally their strong point. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.